Hello, it is me James and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition glitch video. As of last night, we had a new hotfix. <laughs> Why is it raining again? Why did you have to spoil my intro Minecraft? God's sake, well, you know what, we're just going to leave this bit in. So yeah, as I was saying, we had a hotfix update last night and my comments um, on my glitch videos have been full of people saying these glitches are patched. So I did the only thing I know how to and I made a video, well this exact video that you're going to be watching um, to show you guys that um, everything is still working and what duplication glitches are working. Again, if you want somewhere to actually use these duplication glitches, feel free to join the free subscriber realm and that is located in the Discord. Again, if uh, you fail to have Discord, go ahead and add me on the Twitter or the Insta Jam, and I'll be happy to send you the code there. Also, do me a solid and um, obviously like and subscribe. So, first things first. Um, first one, we've still got the good old repeater push piston chest one. This one, um, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I absolutely dislike with a passion. I, I'm really bad at the timing. However, um, I did get it to work again. Obviously, this thing is never going to go away. I'm pretty sure that um, for them to actually stop this to happen, they've got to change some form of mechanics of the redstone, and I doubt that they're going to do that. So, again, simply set it up by um, placing nine repeaters on four tick delay in this um formation and after you have done that what you actually want to do is grab yourself a stone button or a wooden button it is personal preference completely up to you what button you want to use again i get a lot of comments saying use a wooden button it's personal preference whatever you want to use use it now i have skipped to the point where i actually got this glitch to work um, because I didn't want to show you um, parts of the video where it clearly didn't work. Um, that would just be hella boring. But I, uh, like I say, um, it took me a few tries to actually get this. So I skipped forward to the try that I actually did it. Even you can see here, it's taken me a few attempts to actually get the timing of this one correct. Again, this one is completely all about timing. But as you can see, once you pull that out of the chest, um, at the exact time that it retracts, you will actually duplicate the stack of diamonds. So this next one right here is kind of like the brother to the previous glitch. I say that because it's kind of using the same mechanics to actually duplicate the items. Basically, we're just going to need a sticky piston and a chest. Sticky piston facing upwards and the chest on top with a stone or a wooden button on the side. Again, it's completely personal preference. And of course, you need to put your items in the chest. And again, I've skipped it to the bit where it exactly dupes. So we're going to open the chest. Um, pull out the items really fast and again it will duplicate the items. Okay, so for glitch number three, this one has always been my personal favourite but recently um, since the glitch mode glitch, um, you've probably all heard of that one, if you haven't I'm going to be showcasing that one next. Since the glitch mode glitch, um, yeah the glitch mode glitch is now my personal favourite, however this one was always my um, go to glitch because it's so so simple. So basically all I'm doing now because I forgot because again, uh, Again, I'm a pretty unorganized. Um, I'm just going to get myself some dye, but not that um, amount of dye. I, I want a little, a fair bit of dye just in case things go wrong. But um, like I said, this one is pretty efficient, pretty decent. Obviously, um, you're going to be able to um, duplicate full shocker boxes, which is obviously the best way to go about this. You can also do this with single block ores. Um, ones that you can actually change into like like single ores and stuff like that if that makes sense So like diamonds how you can change them from blocks to just like gems or whatever you want to call them um, It does work with those as well, but it is better with a full shocker box believe you me So first of all as you just seen me um, I'm gonna start making this simple very very simple lag machine All it is is a piece of soul sand some water and I'm gonna stack a load of sand in that um, bubble column um, I'd advise you to do about a stack of sand because then you will have more than enough lag to get this to work in your single player world. 
However, in a multiplayer realm, this works pretty much every single time. So all we're going to do is get the shocker box and our pickaxe in these positions that I've got them in right now. We're going to place the shocker box down. We're going to break it, okay? And then we're changing inventory stocks really fast. And as soon as we pick it up, we want to place it on the floor again. And the game kind of thinks that you've still got one in your inventory and you've still placed one on the floor. So eventually um i should be able to do this again um it might take you a few tries um on single player worlds i i have found out that this is a lot less efficient um than on a realm on a realm this pretty much works every single time um i'm really good at this one on a realm well on jamarki anyway um so yeah, all we're doing is literally changing our inventory slot. As soon as we pick it up, we're placing it down. That's the key to this one. Soon as you pick this shocker box up, so you want to change your inventory slot. I'm change. See that how we've got now? We've got one in our inventory slot, and we've got one on the ground. Now, the, what we want to do with the one on our inventory slot is simply change inventory slot so we've not got it in our hand we're then going to open the crafting menu and die that shocker box after that the shocker box will disappear but not to worry you want to go to the empty slot and place it on the floor that's exactly right the empty slot and place it on the floor and you will dupe the shocker box again this one was always my go-to um, duplication glitch because it's so, so simple. And um, you can then go and remove your little lag machine after. Super simple. So for this next one, I'm going to grab a load of books because the best way for me to explain this one is um, via books, in my opinion. Um, there is multiple ways and different things you can do in glitch mode. Um, but these are my personal two favorite ones. So what we're going to do is like an XP slash duplication glitch. We're going to be duplicating uh, loads of books, but you can duplicate any item um, when like any item that you're disenchanting. Okay, so you're going to get a disenchanted item of whatever you're enchant uh, disenchanted, if that makes sense. I'll explain a little bit more now. So you can also get into glitch mode via making honey blocks. And to make a honey block, you need to use four pieces of honey. Again, I don't know if that works on like Xbox and stuff like that. But I've heard a lot of people on um, handheld consoles like um, iOS and stuff like that. Apparently, it does work for them, guys. So the method I like to use is getting two books and quills. Simply signing one book and quill with an author. Um, put an author in there, it doesn't really matter what, signing it, writing something inside of it, and then going into our crafting menu, and then placing two books and quills like that, and pulling one of them out like that, and now we're in glitch mode, I have no idea how this actually works, but it, it puts you in this mode, which we call glitch mode, okay, so then we're just going to grab our books, we actually only need one book for this, because like I said, we're going to be disenchanting the item, but it's not actually going to disenchant the item, as you can see, it throws the disenchanted item on the floor, duplicating the books, but we're also getting the XP from it, this is super, super OP, again, there is other ways to do this as well in glitch mode, so for example, we can still get the book back, and we've just made a quick 64 books this is going to work with any item that you're disenchanting so for example if i disenchanted a piece of my armor we'd get um a chest loads and loads of chest plates okay so basically let me get a sword just to show you this um i'll jump back into survival as well so if we go to the anvil um let me yeah let me change this into survival if we go to the anvil and put the sword in there if we change the name of the sword um, in the anvil whilst in glitch mode and then we pull it out we're actually going to get um, one in our inventory still and one on the floor it still throws it on the floor and that's going to work every single time but how you're going to make this more efficient in my opinion is by simply doing this to a shocker box if you for example got a full shocker box let's go and grab ourselves a shocker box again um let's grab the orange one let's fill this up with um all of these items in my inventory and basically what we can do is we can change the name of this shocker box and um we're going to get two shocker boxes again this is actually really really op it's really fast to do as well so um, and it's not affecting any of the items inside so for example if you wanted to stack um, two like stacks of diamonds together or like two half stacks of diamonds together but you can't because you've changed the name um, just do it this way in a shocker box that's the most efficient way to do it and like I said super super OP 
So the final one, which um still works and is still really, really great. This one is going to work for multiple ores that you can change into blocks. So um this probably will work with like stuff like wheat and stuff like that as well. So any item that you can physically change into a block from a just like a normal item. Um, you're just going to want to make a simple clock like so. Really simple, just a few pieces of redstone, a comparator, and turn that on like so. You also have to turn the comparator on. We're just going to grab some diamonds. But what I'm also going to do as well, which I forgot to mention, I'm actually going to log out um, to get rid of glitch mode. That's how you turn off glitch mode from the previous glitch. So now I've logged out, I can actually show you this one in action because I didn't want glitch mode to have any effect on this glitch that we're doing now. So... Um, basically, all you've got to do is grab your stack of diamonds or whatever you're duplicating, put it in the dispenser, and then go from the construction tab to the items tab, changing them from blocks to the ore, okay? So we're just going to do this. Again, this might not work every single time for you, but on the occasional time, and when I say occasional, it's probably like two in two in every five times maybe. So it does work quite a lot of the time. Um, and when it does work, it works really, really well. Like I say, all we're doing is going from the construction tab to the item tab over and over again, changing that into blocks from ore, blocks from ore. Again, if it doesn't work, go and have a, another go again because um, I guarantee you it will start working. As you can see at the bottom, we've already started to duplicate stuff. I accidentally just made myself a helmet there. You've got to be really careful that you don't do that. However, it's not really that much of a big issue because we did actually just get an extra three blocks and a helmet and eight diamonds so how many diamonds in total did we just dupe 30 plus a helmet which is not actually all that bad again those are the glitches the duplication glitches that are all working in the latest hotfix update um i do hope you did enjoy the video again if you've got any more glitches let me know in the comments below and i will always try and showcase and give you some credit Again, I want to say a massive thank you for um, getting me to 17k. It was only yesterday when we were celebrating 16k. It is absolutely crazy. So that is all for me. I will catch you on the next one.